There's a pretty clear definition of terrorism. Violence done for political motives. The video made by Parliament Hill killer Michael Zahaf Bibo is a textbook case. He says he's doing it because Canada sent troops to attack an Arab Muslim country, so he'll attack Canadian soldiers here in response. That's it. Then everyone acts as if he didn't say what he said. The NDP aren't sure it's terrorism. But if there is such a thing, this is it. The Conservatives release an anti-terror fundraiser saying they hate us for our values. They hate us because we love freedom. But they never say that. They all say what Zahaf Bibo said. The media don't help. They isolate one phrase of his, you won't even be safe in your own land, which is the conclusion of the thought. If you attack there, you won't be safe here. And the experts chime in that he's not original. All terrorists say that, as if that makes it irrelevant. It makes it relevant. It means we know their motives, so we don't have to just react after they act. Uh, we can deal with the cause if we choose. That would mean changing Western foreign policy, but that would be a good thing. For over 200 years, the West has assumed the right to invade the Mideast repeatedly, and look at the results. Terror is terror and has to be dealt with, but this at least offers an excuse to do a long overdue foreign policy rethink. For the Star.com, I'm Rick Salutin.